Hi friends, this is Anna with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff. I'm here today with a really cute project made with a bundle coming in our upcoming January through June 2021 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. That's a mouthful. That's a lot to say. Most of the time I'm probably just going to call it our mini catalog, but it's the one coming up that's going to be released in January. And it has so many fun, bright and cute and springy and summery and Valentine's Day type things in it. I'm really excited to share a lot of the new products with you. So this strawberry set I just fell in love with when I saw it. And my team members and I organized a card swap for for some of our current products so that we can make up some cards. We plan to exchange them at our Christmas party. And so anyway, this is what I decided to use with some of our new products so I could share these cards with my team members that they'd have some more samples for our upcoming catalog. So I want to show you how to make this card. It's really easy and I want to share a really quick tip that helps a ton for how to line up stamps to go along with our builder punches and punch out uh, all of your stamps or all your punches at one time. So that's what we are going to do first. I'll point out real quick while this is here some of the cute sayings in this. We have, that was so sweet of you, happy birthday you sweet thing, and then some classics, hello and thank you. And I will mention, so we have this bundle, but then we also have a celebration reward item available that has some adorable coordinating papers and another stamp set. So the papers we're going to use today came from that coordinating paper pack and in uh, that bundle that you can get for celebration for free. So let's see here. First thing we want to do, we need some scrap card stock. And we're just going to punch this out of our scrap card stock. Now I've already pulled the stamps out that coordinate with each of these. So I pulled out the outline stamps. This is a two-step stamp set. So there's one that does the outline and there's one that will do the fill-in to fill in the color. Now I can't get my head quite above here exactly to line this up perfectly. So they may not be exact, but keep in mind when, when you can look straight down on what you're doing, you'll probably get these lined up a little bit better than what I am going to do right here. So once you get those lined up in the holes, and I can tell this one is off a little, so I'm going to fix that. Once you get those lined up, you're going to put your block on. Pick those up, and they're all in the correct spot to hopefully be evenly spaced. Now, here's some white cardstock. I'm going to stamp onto these. So I'll ink up my stamps. And I always like to stamp, see you can see the strawberry is going to be at the bottom, so I'm going to stamp the strawberry at the bottom of this cardstock so that it slides on there easily. I'll do this again. I needed two strawberries for this card. Now I have the other stamps here I have the one that's going to fill in the leaf and the one that's going to fill in the strawberry. I'm not going to use the other two for this project, but I will already have them cut out and ready for another project. So we'll go ahead and fill these in. Let's do the leaves first. This is our old olive ink. And I really like what this type of stamp, you can get them lined up perfectly, but if you don't, they look perfectly fine. Now this is Poppy Parade. This was the color I chose for the strawberries. And here is the fun part. So now, since we lined up all of those stamps, with our punched piece before we started, we line it up and you can you can move this around. I'm right-handed, so I like to do this this direction, but move it around. I can squeeze 
here with the punch to hold it in place, make sure it is where I want it before I punch. And if not, I can adjust it a little bit. But once it is where I want it, punch. And look, we have all of those pieces in exactly the right spot, punched and ready to use on a project. So let's do this with this other one. And those did end up lined up really well. I'm very happy with that. So there we go. We have some little flowers we can use on another project, some extra leaves, and the ones we will use on this card. So now let's bring these back in. I'll show you a few samples and let's put this together. So I have a shaded spruce card base. I have a piece of that adorable berry paper. This is that paper that you can earn for free during celebration. So if you spend $100 on any products in our regular catalogs, you get to choose either one $100 free item or two $50 free items. But you can choose this berry set that includes this beautiful berry 12 by 12 paper pack and another coordinating stamp set that goes along with the berries. So that's where this designer paper came from. It's free during celebration. I cut this measures three by five and a half. I cut out these circles using my stitched shapes dies. So we'll put some adhesive on the backs of them. This one is cut out of Poppy Parade cardstock. This one I cut out of white and then I stamped that stamp on it using old olive ink. Put that on. Now with one of my berries, I will glue it on straight to the paper. You can use glue or tape. I'll just use some tape here, make it a little bit faster. This strawberry I'm going to pop up. So here, I've got a dimensional on this one. We'll stick that on. We need a little bit of glue on the backs of these cute little leaves. Put these up top. And I've already prepped the greeting. It says, happy birthday, you sweet thing. And I punched it out with the Label Me Pretty Punch. Label Me Fancy. I should have that name in front of me. I don't. We'll put that right on here with some dimensionals. I did prepare the inside for this. It says, today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are, the great things that you do. And this came from one of our other new stamp sets that has some really nice greetings in it. And just for a little bling, I added some of these cute gems. So hopefully this gives you a good idea for a way to use some of our new products coming in this new mini catalog. If you have questions about it, please let me know. Again, here is this adorable punch. I just love these berries. You could use these for spring. You can use them for summer, birthday, pretty much all occasions. It's just a fun, cheerful set that you could use for all sorts of projects. So thanks for joining in today. You can get more ideas and inspiration on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. Hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again next time.